Hallelujah. How many is ready for a reset? I'm ready. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to 2 Timothy chapter 1. Going to read one verse, and that's verse 6. Once you have it, if you could stand for the reading of the word. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. If you're happy, if you can say amen. 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 And if you're able, stand for the word. And if you're not, God understands. Amen. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. And it reads like this. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you, through the laying on of my hands. You can be seated. <laughs> this is Paul talking to Timothy. You can be seated if you want to. Amen. Amen. That word stir up in the Greek, it means to arouse uh -huh. or to provoke, ah. to cause to happen. Uh -huh. Amen. How many knows that we need the gift of God provoked in us sometimes? Amen. That gift also means fire. We need the fire of the Holy Ghost uh -huh. aroused in us. Yep. Cause it to happen. Amen. Amen. Paul was telling Timothy here, he was saying, Timothy, I'm going to provoke your gift by the laying on of my hands. Amen. How many know sometimes we need somebody, amen, to put their hands on us to get us stirred up, to get our gift, our fire stirred up in us. Amen. Because sometimes the fire would like to just burn out. Amen. And sometimes we just need a reset. Okay. Amen. We need to start all over. Amen. See, that word reset, it means to start over or to charge up. See, God is going to reset, reset some people in this season. Amen. You know when your uh, batteries get low and your alarm clock, amen, or whatever, it begins to lose time. Amen. 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 And you look at it, and it's the wrong time. And if you ain't careful, you'll be late or you'll be too early. Amen. And what do you have to do? You have to wind it up and you have to, amen, change the batteries, amen, or whatever, to charge it up. Amen. In order for it to tell the right time. And in this season, God is saying, I want to charge some people up. I need to reset some people up. Amen. Because they have lost, amen, what I have called them and anointed them to do they have quit doing it so in order in this season I've got to give them a reset yeah. see that word gift in the Hebrew means root amen sometimes God has to take the very root inside of us amen and begin to amen do a work on it amen or replant it amen in good soil amen in order for it to grow because God is getting ready to reset some people some prophets some preachers some teachers amen some singers that have just sat down and quit hey but God is saying now is not the time to give up as Paul was telling Timothy now is not the time to quit but now now is the time to get recharged and get excited in Jesus. Amen. Amen. There's going to be a start over. Come on. How many wants to start over sometimes? Huh? Hallelujah. Just start over. Your day hasn't went good. Amen. You just want to start all over. Amen. Have you ever heard the old saying, I got up on the wrong side of the bed. I need to get up on the other side. Amen. No, you just need to reset yourself. You need to start all over in God and be charged up by the laying on the hands. If there ain't nobody to lay hands on, you lay hands on yourself and begin to prophesy to yourself and begin to speak to yourself. Amen. The Bible said out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. But sometimes we got to get them waters flowing. Sometimes 
times we got to get that river flowing. Hallelujah. Before it can ever come out. And how do you do that, Brother Grubb? Amen. You got to get down on your knees and begin to pray. Everybody can't lay hands on me. Everybody can't lay hands on you. But God's got a prophet in the house. God's got a preacher in the house. God's got a teacher in the house. Amen. That's been praying and studying that can stir that fire in you. I want it stirred in me. God didn't call me to be dead, but he called me to be alive. He said I was a lively stone in the building. If your batteries went dead, it's time to charge it. It's time to reset it. Amen. Amen. You wonder why they was ten virgins. Amen. They all were saved. At one time, but five of them let the oil leak out. Amen. They didn't get recharged. They didn't fill the oil back up. Amen. And when the bridegroom came, it was too late. I don't want to be too late. I want my cup overflowing. I want to drink. Drink from my saucer. I want to stay charged up and reset for the Holy Ghost to use this preacher. Huh? I don't want to be up here one day and down here the next. Huh, if we stay recharged like that bunny rabbit, it always stays charged up. We need to stay charged up. Amen. Hallelujah. That we can witness to somebody. That we can win somebody. This world is not looking. Amen. For a church that's dead and dried up and need plucked up and set on fire. But amen. Yeah, the world is looking for some lively churches. Amen. Some lively people. Amen. Hallelujah. That's charged up and know what they're talking about. You just don't know what God has done for me. Amen. And it's time for us to get on fire for the Holy Ghost. Amen for Jesus. See, the Holy Ghost is going to bring life to the gift by the laying on the hand. Sometimes that gift we got, we just sit down on it and it dies. Huh. If, we, if God anointed us and gave us the talent to sing, we need to sing. Huh. If God called you to preach, you need to preach. If God called you, amen, anointed you to play an instrument, uh, you need to play that instrument. Uh, whatever it is that God uh, has gave you the talent or called you to do, now is not the time to set down, but now is the time, amen, to get excited. And now is the time to begin to do what God uh, has called you and anointed you to do. Nobody else can do what you can do if you'll only do it. If you only tell yourself, I need reset, I need to start all over. Huh. I may, you need to let the devil know I may not be doing it now, but look out there. I'm going to start doing it. See, the devil wants you to quit whatever it is you're doing. Amen. Hallelujah. And just sit down. Because if he can get more and more people to sit down, amen, then what's going to happen? But my God, God has sent me here. And God gave me the word to reset, to start over. Amen. Amen. Oh, God is speaking to somebody. It's time you begin to do what God anointed you to do. Amen. Huh. We need everybody in the body. Everybody in the body is important. But everybody can't preach. Everybody can't sing. Everybody can't play the piano or the guitar or the drums. Amen. That's why God has got different ones for different things. Amen. And we need to do what God, amen, has given us to do. Because it all works together. Huh? The good music you have makes the singers sing better. Huh? Good teachers, amen, gives us good instruction to go on for the next day. Preachers, amen, will get us excited to go on the next day. Huh? Prophets will speak into your life, the future, or the past, or right now. 
Huh? We all need each other. We need to get down to the root. I want my roots. Amen. I want my gift planted deep down. Amen. Where the devil can't get it and not pluck it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, it says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but only one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Amen. Many start in the race, but only few of them finish. Huh? Yeah. Many of them start in the race, but only few finish. And they start off running real fast. Uh -huh. Amen. But somewhere down the line, they lose their energy. Huh? They get sidetracked. Huh? And the devil comes, amen, and getting them look at this and looking at that. And before you know it, they don't have no energy. Amen. And they're not running no more. Amen. Hallelujah. They're not able to finish. Amen. The race. But God is saying tonight is your night, baby, to start all over, to get in the race. Amen. You may have to sit down for a little bit, but get yourself up and start all over and start running. Hallelujah. Everybody don't run at the same pace, but keep on running. Amen. Get re my God. Get a reset. Hey, hey. And start running for Jesus. Huh. Start running for Jesus. I may not run as fast as you. You may not run as fast as me, but we got to keep running. Amen. And when we get slow and tired, amen, we got to put the reset button. Amen. And start over again. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody the outside. I feel the Holy Ghost in the house. Amen. I told God in prayer today, Lord, you push that reset button and fill up. Amen. I lay hands on me, Lord. Stir up that gift that's in me, God. Stir up that fire, God. Hey, mister, up that anointed. My God, only you can, God. Only you can, God. Hallelujah. And he will if we'll only let him. I don't want to be running in this thing and sit down because I'm weary and well doing because I'm tired. Hey, Amen. This old body gets tired. But that spirit man on the inside says, keep running. Amen. Amen. This old flesh is supposed to be crucified anyway. Amen. We got to keep on running. We got to keep enduring to the end. Amen. Keep looking to the author who is the finisher of our faith, the beginning and the end. Come on, somebody. Say, we need some prophets. We need some preachers. We need some apostles to lay hands on those that have grown weary. Those that have grown weak, those that have gave up, we need somebody to declare the word on them and say, get up. Get up. Look at your neighbor and say, it's time to get up. Help me to reset yourself. We got authority. We have power. We're getting ready as a body to move into a new church. Yep. Huh? And we're getting ready, amen, for a new season. Yeah. Huh? Hallelujah. And God is not wanting us to go into that season. The way the season that we're in now. Brother Houston, but he wants to raise us up. Amen. He wants us full of the Holy Ghost. He wants us with power. So when those come off the street, when those come here and there, that we can have the authority to see them delivered. But first we got to get reset. And God is already doing it. Huh? There's enough word preached in this church. We all should be on fire. Huh? We all should be running over. 
Huh? You can't get no better teacher than my pastor. Amen. You can't get no better preacher than my pastor or my brother-in-law or any other preachers. Amen. Hallelujah. But you know what? A lot of times we said and we listen. Sometimes we don't even listen. We hear what they're saying. Amen. But we don't apply what they're saying. Amen. And that's the only thing that's going to get the gift stirred up in us. If we listen to the word because the word brings life. The word brings life to something that is dead. Hallelujah. If you need a reset, let me help you tonight. Hallelujah. 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 I don't care if you fell down. I don't care if you wobbled in the mud. I don't care what you've done. Amen. I know the Holy Ghost gave me this word. And I know there's people that need to reset. They need to start all over. I'm not saying you backslid. I'm not saying this. You just need to start over. Amen. What God has called you to do and wants you to do to give you that desire. There's nothing worth giving up right now because Jesus is soon to come. Amen. But we got to keep that fire burning. Amen. We got to keep the armor on. We got to keep running. Keep running. I keep running. Amen. Amen. Because we got men and women, boys and girls that they ain't going to hell every day. Jonah chapter 1 verses 1 through 3. Everybody's heard the story of Jonah, but I want to read it to you. Amen. Now the word of the Lord. You hear that? The word of the Lord came unto Jonah, the son of the Amittai, saying, Arise. That's what the Holy Ghost is saying tonight. Get up. Arise. Go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarsh from the presence of the Lord and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto Tarsh from the presence of the Lord. Amen. You all know the story. And he got swallowed by a big fish. Could you imagine today? Amen. If you was on a boat. Amen. And you was rearing. You was running from the presence of the Lord. And God allowed a fish to swallow the whole boat just to get your attention. That's why I don't go on a boat. Huh? Because could you imagine? God had to get his attention. He needed a reset. Huh? You may not have a big fish to swallow you up, but I guarantee there'll be something to swallow you up. God will get your attention one way or the other. Huh? He'll get your way one way or the other. Amen. So we need to quit listening to what the devil is saying and listen to what God is saying. Amen. Let me tell you something. You are worthy. Amen. Don't let the devil tell you you're not worthy. I hate when Christians say that. Amen. Because we're worthy, Rita. Because Jesus made us worthy. You are nobody. You are somebody. I'll never say I'm a nobody because I know I'm somebody. And I'll never say I'm not worthy because I know I'm worthy. You know why? Because the word of God made me worthy. Jesus made me worthy when he went to the cross. And I accepted him into my life. And he changed my life. Huh? So he made me worthy for the cause. But when Jonah began to pray... And Jonah began to seek God. What did God do? He caused the fish to vomit him up. Yeah. And then Jonah got willing to do what God had already told him to do and anointed him to do. See, Jonah was a prophet. Hey, amen. And God told him to go, hey, amen, and tell those people unless they changed, they was going to die. Hey, amen. And you know what? He did that. And now the most shy and the whole city, hey, amen, was saved. My God. When God tells you to do something, you better do it. Amen. He's not telling you to do it for no reason. There's a reason behind everything he tells you to do. 
I don't care. Amen. If it's go and prophesy to somebody, give somebody a hug. Amen. Or give somebody some money or do whatever it may be. You better do it. Don't allow the devil to trip you up. Don't allow the devil to push your off button. But keep your button turned on. Amen. Keep that light burning. Amen. As a kid, I remember we used to sing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm not going to let old Satan come and blow it out. Amen. I'm not going to let nobody blow my light out. I'm not going to let nobody turn my own. Amen. Off. Amen. But I'm going to keep it on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I was in prayer today before church, I heard the Holy Ghost kept telling me, he said, Philip, now is the time. Amen. In this season is to keep running. Now is the time not to look at everybody around you, but to stay focused straight ahead. Amen. Now is the time, Philip. Amen. To begin to speak while I tell you to speak. I heard the Holy Ghost saying that. And in my spirit I'm saying yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. I won't look at what people look like. What they think. Amen. And what they say. But I'm going to look to Jesus. Because huh? truly I am blessed. Huh? Truly I am blessed. I want to keep running in this race. Huh? I want to keep oh, running. Amen. A steady pace. I don't want to go too fast. And I don't want to lag up. Because if I go too fast, I may miss the mark. If I go too slow, Amen. I may miss the mark. But if I keep going just right, I won't miss it. If I keep giving heed, amen, to the voice of the Lord, I won't miss it. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want prayer tonight, amen. I want you to come up here. I want to lay hands on you, and I want to pray for you. Amen. And after I pray for you guys, I want you to pray for me. I'm going to stand in for my brother. Amen. But I also want you to pray for Philip uh, that I'll keep the fire burning in my life. Um, amen. Come on now. If somebody comes and gives us a song, uh, amen, we got to be in a hurry. People sit and wait too long. Amen. When the Holy Ghost is dealing.